five. Hi, everyone. Say hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. I'm Jen, and this is my daughter, Morgan. And we are so excited that you're here with us today. We're doing a Perler project, and we normally come doing our projects at our Perler lab, come from our Perler lab, but today we've decided to change things up. And because we're doing a Thanksgiving project, we decided to come from our kitchen. <laughs> so why not? What, no better place to come from your kitchen for your Thanksgiving meal. We can smell it now, can we? Yes. A turkey. So welcome everyone. We're gonna wait for our friends to just trickle in. We see a bunch of people coming on. Today, we are going to make a project called the Thankful Turkey. Turkey. You wanna hold it up and show everybody this? This is what our end project looks like. So look like this and also this. Correct. So first we're gonna go over our supply list before we get started. First of all, you should have received a downloadable printable pattern sheet. So if you didn't get that, please have mom, dad, or another adult download that a while. And then you also need um, a pegboard. A pegboard. So for this project, we need the large, square, clear pegboard. Also in our supply list is the 11,000 multi feed jar. This you get at Michael's as well. And we're gonna tell you, Morgan's gonna read off all the colors that we're using from the bead jar. But before we do that, we know there's a lot of beads in the jar. Um, a good way to separate the beads, um, a little tip we have is we put out a cookie sheet and we poured out the jar and then we were able to separate the beads. So we separated the beads and we put them all in a small clear um, container that we have. Or and a it's tray. Tray, yes. And it's just a little bit easier to use this instead of digging out of the jar. So you have a few minutes to separate some beads if you want to while we're still getting our things together. Then in the jar is the ironing paper. It comes in the jar. It also is sold separately. Um, if you've been with us before, because we've done two other projects with our friends, we did a back to school project, right? Yes, we made um, bag tags and little apples and bookmarks. And bookmarks. And then just last month, we were here for a Halloween. Um, pumpkin decorating. We did pumpkin decorating. And it was glow in the dark. Yes, they were glowing in the dark. They were awesome. Um, so we're here for Thanksgiving, and then we'll talk to you about we're going to be back in December. But if you have the ironing paper from before, it's reusable, which is great. So if it's the first time having the ironing paper, hold on to it because you can use it and use it over again. Um, something that's optional is tweezers, the perler tweezers. I like to use the perler tweezers. Morgan prefers to use her My fingers because she has little tiny fingers. So that's optional and up to you. Um, and then because of the type of projects we have today, and it's a thankful turkey, we wanna be able to write what we're thankful for. So uh, we just ask that you cut out a little piece of paper, any kind of blank paper is fine. So you would have needed scissors, tape or glue, glue dots, whatever it is that you have. You right? would also need um, a marker, pencil or pen. We are using a pen for this. Correct. And then most importantly is our iron. So you'll need an iron and this we please ask that you have an adult when it's time to iron. Um, the iron is a regular household iron, but no steam, no water. So no water in your iron, no steam. And we put this at a medium heat and we'll kind of give you a heads up when it's time to put that iron on. So Morgan's going to read the colors that we're using out of the jar and then we'll be able to get started. Okay, so the colors that you would need is pink, hot coral, raspberry, cheddar, kiwi lime, light blue, plum, light brown, and black. So she might have gone fast on that, but they're all listed on your pattern sheet, so you'll be able to see that. So please make sure you use your Q&A today. If you have someone there, you can write questions. Um, we'd love to hear from you, hear how we're doing. Um, make sure you let us know if we're going a little too... Fast or too slow. We'll be happy to try to accommodate and slow down. Um, most importantly, please make sure you have someone 
post your project from today and use the hashtag make it with Michaels. So then we can see it. Because then we go back and see. And so it was really cool to see everybody's projects the last and two times. And they were so good. They were so good. So please do it again so that we can check them out. We'd love to see. And we show everybody back in our parlor lab exactly what you guys are doing with us today and how great everything is. So I think we should get started. What do you think? Let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. So I like to start up from the top to the bottom and I take a handful of the beans. Correct. And I just keep on um, putting them. You like to do it by color. Mm -hmm. Um, not really. I like to do it from top to top bottom. Top to bottom. Sometimes I do it by color. I put them in my hand. It just depends. It's all personal preference. And sometimes the board moves while you're doing the pattern. That's not a big deal. Um, sometimes I move it back and forth just to make sure I'm sort of lined up and then I'm doing the right color. And I like to start at the top of my turkey. We're so excited you guys are back with us today. We are super excited for Thanksgiving, right Morgan? Yes, and also I have a question for you guys. You do? You what? have a question for our audience? <laughs> yes, okay. in the Q&A. What is your favorite, like, what is your favorite food to have at Thanksgiving? Ooh, that's a good question to Mine? ask. Probably yeah, what is yours? Is pumpkin pie. Pumpkin Ooh. pie on Thanksgiving. Do you like it with whipped cream or without whipped cream? I like it with a ton of whipped cream. A ton of whipped cream on your pumpkin pie. Well, my favorite food on Thanksgiving is definitely the turkey. That's my favorite part. I can smell it now. Cooking in our oven, right? Yeah. So please tell us what your favorite Thanksgiving meal is. We'd love to hear. Your, your favorite Thanksgiving dish, that is. Or your, um, or your you know, the food, whatever. <laughs> yeah, your favorite food. We have all the traditions for Thanksgiving that we love, right? A lot of our friends play football before they get together. We know Thanksgiving might look a little bit different for everybody this year, but that's okay. We'll still get together with mom and dad and we'll do our thing, right? Yeah. We'll still have a great day. We're thankful for our health and happiness. All right. How's the black going? Good. Now I'm on to that um that blue and one little yellow spot on the hat. Great job. You're doing good too. Thanks. <laughs> so when we get finished with the project, because it's called Make a Thankful Turkey. We're gonna write, what are you thankful for? So here's an example. I'm thankful for my mom or dad. I'm thankful for my dog, Toby. <laughs> so cute. But what I was going to say is if you decide not to use it that way, there's a couple other ways that you could use our project today. You could put the name of, of someone that's sitting at the table and use it as a place card, a place setting holding, place set. You could do it that way. You could say mom and put it right in front of her chair, Morgan. Um, we yeah, could, we, like stuffing. ooh, stuffing, pumpkin a lot pie. of our friends, pumpkin pie, turkey, turkey, yeah, green bean casserole, ooh, ooh that's, a, oh. that's good, so Morgan's, one of Morgan's favorite foods, green, bean. green beans, <laughs> I love to be healthy, she loves her green beans, so that's a really good one, good answers, you guys. How about since we're talking about being thankful Thanksgiving, tell us what you're thankful for. I know I'm thankful for my family. Morgan, how about you? I'm thankful for my family and food. Family and food. We would love to hear what you guys are thankful for. Maybe what you're going to write. Drop the bead. For your turkey. Line up the pattern again. It does move a little bit. That's not a problem. You just put it 
that. Yeah. Add the um, your paper that your paper that you should. Get. All right. I just gotta move it around a little bit. So you'll also see on the pattern sheet that there's a small pattern on the lower right hand corner and that's the stand for the turkey. So you can make your turkey stand up. If you would decide to use your turkey other ways, you could skip making the stand or save it for later. And you could put maybe a magnet on the back and it could be a magnet on your fridge or what else we could put on our bulletin board at home. Give it you, to someone as a gift. You can put string in through a little bead, make a ton, put it like a yeah, decoration, that's a good make idea. it on your window or something. Yeah. People, so the, people are saying what they're thankful for. Oh, Ooh. let's hear. Um, Mike is thankful for Mike's help for the family and his family. Yeah. Mike's thankful for uh, help, family, and his house. And that came from Mike. 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 Thanks, Mike. That's a great one. Tara said family and that we live in a good house. Tara said family and a good house. That's great. Thanks, Tara. Tiffany's thankful her brother's coming home from college. That's a great one. Oh, Tiffany's brother is coming home from college. That is great. Um, someone's thankful for you because you make curly bee tosses. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks to whoever said they're thankful for us. We appreciate it because we really enjoy doing this. A lot of people are thankful for their family. Oh. Um, their grandma. Somebody's thankful for their grandma. Grandma. Thanks, you guys. Such great answers, huh, Morgan? Yep. So good. And just remember if we're going too fast or too slow, remember just to tell us. And then say if we're going too slow, we'll slow down. We will certainly try. And you'll see everyone does the perler beads at their own pace. Morgan and I, we go different paces. It depends how we decide to do the pattern. I'm the slow one. <laughs> and you'll see the, we have the pattern where the feathers are very colorful. That's why there's so many um, colors, colors in, in today's project, but if you prefer to keep um, one color, two colors, that's the best thing about perler beads is you can be creative. Even though there's a pattern, you can change it up. You can decide to do you, other colors. You can put all the color, I mean, all the feathers like green or blue. Somebody asked you to slow down a little bit. Sure. Okay, we'll yeah, we can slow down. Thanks for letting us know. So besides this pattern, if you guys ever want to check out some of our other patterns, you can go to perler.com. And then there's a ton more. A ton of patterns. They're free and you can download them and print them. We've done a few from there, right, Morgan? Yeah, what oh, is your favorite? Remember the one you did? So Morgan did a <laughs> breakfast food that she loved. I what did was it? a 3D waffle. Oh, it was a 3D waffle. It was so fun. I think, did it have chocolate chips in the waffle? I it had butter. And butter, it had, yeah. It, was it had really butter, neat. syrup, and chocolate chips. And it even came on like a little plate that you can also make. So we have a ton of patterns. There's sports and food and all sorts of different designs. So it's really fun. I'm on to the face. Okay. So oh, you're doing a great job. I'm doing two black for the eyes. I'm jumping around a little bit today. I'm doing it by <laughs> color. And if you mess up, no worries. No, and I'm going to move mine over a little bit just to double check my colors mm -hmm. that I'm using. Mm -hmm. what, mm -hmm. what do you need? The green tool. Really quick. Use this one. That one's yeah. pretty easy to use. Line it back up again and you'll back up into the blue. Thank you. You are welcome. Tell some of your traditions. Maybe there's something that you're doing a little bit differently this year. Something we always like to do is we watch the parade on TV. That's our tradition. Yes. And sometimes we start to get out our Christmas decorations after mm -hmm. we eat. So that's fun too. Mm -hmm. Everyone has, we'd love to hear some of your Thanksgiving traditions. Do you play board games? Do you? The holidays are coming. They are coming. Do you play some football outside? Hopefully everyone will have nice weather on Thanksgiving. We're gonna have beautiful weather on Thanksgiving, I hope. We are. We hope. <laughs> Are 
You're doing great. Thank you, and you are too. How about out of the colors we're using today, what's your favorite color? Um, out of the colors we're using? Yeah. Probably the light blue. Light blue? Yeah. yeah, I like light blue. I like cheddar. I like it for the color and I like it for its name. How about you guys? Does anyone want to tell us with the colors palette that we're using today if you have a favorite color? I like um, light blue, then hot coral because hot Coral is like this bright, peachy, dark, a little bit pink. Mm -hmm. It's a combination color. Combination of three. Mm -hmm. So we'd love to hear from you guys. Hopefully our speed is a little bit better and everyone's following along okay. Stuff on the tweezers. That happens Here too. is another question. We have a lot of questions. You have another question um, already? Yes. <laughs> Are you guys going for the whole for the regular design? Are you guys just getting creative? Oh, that's a good question. I'd like to know. People getting creative with the design. We, we would like to know. You're doing great. Thank you. His whole face is done. <laughs> I'm working on his feathers right now. What are you guys working on? My turkey's name is Tom. Tom the turkey. My turkey's name is Tim. Tim the turkey. <laughs> oh, sorry. You said kiwi lime is your favorite color? Ooh. Ooh, someone likes kiwi. Kiwi lime is probably one of my favorites too. Purple, plum, and cheddar. Another cheddar. Mm. Raspberry. Ooh, raspberry. I'm actually using raspberry right now. Over just to see who's the right one. Hot coral. Ooh, hot coral. Uh -huh. What am I? Yeah. People said they like to watch the parade and the Lions football game. Ah, uh, the parade and the football game. And then they put out their Christmas trees. <laughs> Going, we're doing great. Ooh. Speed okay. Oh, sorry, I just got my head over a little more. So I stay on my pattern. That's okay. Change my color there. I'm gonna do that. Jennifer's turkey's name is Jerry. Jerry the turkey. Ooh. I love it. How's it going, Morgan? Good. How about you? Mine's doing great. Oh my god, you're almost done. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs to stop because we're done. Okay. Okay, no problem. We will slow down. Slow down. Mm -hmm. Somebody else is turkey is named Tutu. Ooh. Tutu. Tutu the turkey. I like that. That's good. Somebody else is naming their Layden. Layden. Ooh. That's a creative name. That is a very creative name. Tommy. Tommy. <laughs> Tommy the turkey. Tina. Ooh. The turkey. That's good for a girl. Tina the turkey. That's really good. And Todd the turkey. I like that one. What was it? Todd the turkey. 
Tom. Todd. Todd. Todd the turkey. How about gobble? Gobble. Gobble, gobble. Mm. That's a turkey. <laughs> okay, I'm done with my whole entire, the top half. Perfect. But you still have the frame to go. So any of our friends that think we're moving a little too fast, don't worry, we will slow down. Mr. Boss the turkey. Mr. Boss the turkey. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. Who ever thought of that? Waddle the turkey. Waddle. Waddle the turkey. Great job. On to the blue. I have a little bit more to go up top. This person named their turkey Angela. Angela, Angela the turkey. I'm almost done with the top too. Sometimes I just move it aside, make sure I have everything lined up okay. And now I'm gonna start the frame. I like that he's holding this frame, it's cute. Yeah, we've got some more slowdowns. We're going to do that. It's okay. We've got um, Smokey the turkey, Paisley. We think of Paisley. I like Paisley, Smokey the turkey. We can, and we'll talk to everybody about that. Okay. So yes. Yeah, we can, we might as well. So that's good. So on the pattern sheet that Morgan and I are using, there is one single layer for row the frame that goes around the frame. But we know there is a pattern that was sent out where there's a double row. So that's up to you. It does help the turkey stand a little bit better, but we'll also show you that by fusing the beads, a little bit more together than normal than, than we like to do because we like the open beads. It does also help the turkey stand. So it's up to you why we're doing this today. We can do one single square, but maybe for today, Morgan and I will add that additional row. Yes. You guys, I'm sure, are all doing great. Remember to slow down when they want us to slow down. Morgan Perler's a lot at home, so a lot. <laughs> she's pretty fast, but we certainly the one who's pretty fast. want you guys to keep up with us. But that's okay if we don't. Don't forget to make sure you post your pictures at hashtag make, make it, it with, with Michaels. Michaels. <laughs> we love to share the pictures with everyone in our Perler office. See all the different designs if you Got creative with your beads and change the colors. Great job. Thank you. Whoa. Yeah, sometimes the beads roll away. Just try to catch them. <laughs> Football. Football is always on at our house, right? With mm -hmm. brother and dad. Usually there's a game on Thanksgiving. Does anyone have a favorite football team they want to tell us about? What's your favorite football team? My favorite football team? Well, 
the further office is in Pennsylvania, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And we're not too far from Philadelphia. So I think the Philadelphia Eagles. Mine is the Steelers. Also from Pennsylvania. And on the Eagles. The Eagles. And sometimes the Bears. And sometimes the Chicago Bears. That's fun. We'd love to hear who you guys like. Seahawks. Ooh, the Seahawks. Ooh, Seahawks. Seattle Seahawks. Rams. The Lions. Rams and Lions. Broncos. Ooh, Bronco fans. Another Philadelphia Eagles fan. <laughs> the Steelers. More Philadelphia Eagles and Steelers. Steelers. Um, so Jennifer likes the Oregon Ducks and the Raiders. Ooh, the Ducks. Washington football team. Just on the side. I think we might not be able to see my piece of paper if I go all the way around. So we'll just do the double row on the sides. So just these sides? Yeah, I'm thinking that if I put the paper here, I wanna make sure that I'm seeing what I wrote. Is so, that good? Yeah, that's great. So okay. then this way we doubled it up on the sides. Are you gonna do a little stand? Yeah, I'm gonna do the stand. Let's do the stand. I'm not gonna, not gonna do the stand. I'm gonna make it a little decoration. Okay, well you still have the legs to go, so I'm gonna start the stand a while. So right now I'm doing the legs and she's doing her little stand. But are you guys gonna do the stand or are you guys not gonna do the stand? I want my guy to stand up. When you do start the stand, you'll see that on the pattern sheet, there are some openings. You wanna make sure that you do not put beads there. That way the turkey's legs will pop right in the stand. There should be like this purple maybe point or something. <laughs> it's an arrow. You're going great. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. All right, now I'm on the yellow legs. Oh, good job. On the yellow legs. And you're on the green The part. cheddar legs. We had a bunch of people like the cheddar color. Yes. Oops, sorry. Ooh, sorry. That's okay. We'll get that later. <laughs> Good job. How's everybody doing? Let us know. Slow down, slow down. Okay. It's <laughs> okay. Doing great. And and don't worry also, we'll make sure that we take our time when we iron because I'll iron both my project and Morgan's. So you'll get to see the ironing process twice. And you'll get to see a turkey with the stand and, and without it. Without. Also on the perler.com website, uh, we have additional information on ironing and the instructions. So you can always check that out and follow back. Um, if you need a little bit of help with the ironing process. Last bead. So go ahead and do your stand. We don't have to use the stand if we don't want to. I'm not going to do my stand. I'm going to make it a cute little type of decoration. Okay. You're going to put, you're going to hang it or something different. Yes. Well, 
What step are you guys on? Are you guys on the feet, the frame? Some people are done. Okay. Some okay. people are working on the stand. Okay. So now would be the time to go ahead and start to heat up your iron. We put it, we set the iron at a medium heat. So please make sure you grab an adult for this part. And just remember, no steam, no water. Correct. And if you're just catching up, it's no big deal. We are gonna iron everything, both projects, Morgan's and myself. Just finish the stand and then we'll start the ironing process. Looks like you're doing great so far. Just explain the ironing when you do it. Okay. No problem. If you're done, something that you can work on right now while I'm finishing up is if you had a chance to cut your piece of paper okay, I'll do to write what you were thankful for or if you're gonna use it as a play setting, you can put someone's name. That's also something you can do a little bit later after our Perler Live. Pen working okay? Yep. Okay. It wasn't working at first. Okay. Just a few more beads and I'll be done. Meanwhile, Morgan's going to write what she's thankful for. Two more and we're all set. Okay, so I'm all done. And I wrote, I'm thankful or family. <laughs> That's yes, so nice. All right, so I'm gonna start the ironing process. So again, we have the iron on medium heat and we take our ironing paper, unfold it, it comes folded in a small square in the jar and we lay it on top. And I would say I explain, I use a medium pressure and I just start to iron. Sometimes I just like to go in a circular motion. What are you gonna write for your piece of paper? Right. And you'll see, as you start to iron, the beads come through. You'll see the melting process start to happen through your ironing paper. Don't forget the stand down at the bottom of the pegboard. And depending on the project and depending how you like to iron, sometimes the beads, people like the hole open. Sometimes they like it closed. On this particular project, we found that we like to close the beads a little bit more, melt them, fuse them together a little bit more. So, what so that the turkey right stands. For, paper, Mom? for my paper? Yes. I'm also thankful for family. So I know it's the okay. same thing, but that is. Do you want me to write it down for you? That would be great. Okay, so I'm thankful for family. Please. Make sure I get the ends. Go up here and get the top of his hat. And then I take a peek and see if the beads are sticking. and tell that they're sticking to the paper. It's not the best, but so it's still good. Oh, your handwriting is great. I'm going to give it a little bit more. And then I'm going to let you guys take a look at what it looks like through the ironing paper. And you can see that the beads have started to melt. So it is warm, so just be careful. You want to set it to the side because just remember, at it is going end. to be hot. Yeah, it's a little bit warm. You're okay, though. And then I flip it over. And the pegboard comes right off. Now, if you have a second piece of ironing paper, you can put it on top. If you don't, you just carefully take the project. And again, it is a little bit warm. And you peel it off the paper and flip it around so you get the other side. 
peel it off the paper. I flip it around so I get the other side and we give this side of the turkey and his stand an ironing so they fuse together. And here's your paper. Thank you. Yep. Start again, don't forget the stand. I use a medium pressure, medium heat on the iron. And you can see and also with the starts ironing, to fuse together. Also with the ironing paper, it is reusable. It is reusable and that's great. So you can see. And it's a little bit warm, so we're just gonna set it aside. And then Morgan, let me have yours. Number and we'll go through the process again for anybody that either is just finishing up or wants to see it again. So you put the ironing paper on top of your project. Here, do you want me to put your thing on? Yep, you can start that. I'll move that over. It's just a little bit warm. I want to be careful about that. Okay, so. so what you want to do to put um your little thing on that says I'm your thinking paper. for yep, your paper. You want to flip over your turkey, you want to grab some tape, and then you want to tape it on, flip it over like that. Then you just tape it so it would stick. Good job. Okay, so again, it's medium pressure and you can start to see the beads melting through the paper. Make sure you get the corners, the ends around the frame, his feet, go back up top and get his hat. I give him a little sneak peek and see if he's sticking. Do just a little bit more in this corner. How's everybody doing with the ironing process? Any questions, please let us know. Put it in the Q&A. We'll try to answer them the best we can. Okay, so I did my first side. Now I'm gonna flip the board around. And now I'm done taping, so you want to flip your turkey around. Okay, don't put him in the stand yet. Let's give a minute. Let's finish this. I'm gonna take him off the ironing paper. Just gonna scoot the paper a little bit back. Is that fine? It's cut off a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay. So this is basically what it would look like without a stand. And then later, like maybe in a minute, we will put on the stand. Yay! He's a little bit warm still. So we're gonna leave him out. Okay. Here's How's everybody doing on the ironing process? I think everybody's busy ironing, Would you which like is great. To do the job of putting on stands right. for everyone. All right, I'm taping my one right now. Put this guy, and then he pops right into the bottom of your stand. Hold it this That's way, so you can cute. see. All right, and then just take the last bit of it. Here and it is. Ta-da! I'm thankful for family. And me too. So this is great. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed our Thanksgiving project. Yes. Right, and again, Go to perler.com for any of our tips on ironing. Uh, don't forget to hashtag make it at Michael's with your project. Morgan and I will be back in December. We're gonna do a holiday project yeah. uh, for both Christmas and Hanukkah. So please make sure you check back at the Michael's website and look for our Perler class. <laughs> and most importantly, we hope that everybody has a happy Thanksgiving, right? Yeah. So happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for joining us. And we hope you come back again. Bye. Bye.